everyone, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at some more promos from the Board Game Geek Store. As many of you are probably aware, several months ago, uh, actually close to a year ago now, Watch It Played and Board Game Geek joined forces, and that has meant I haven't had to run an annual fundraiser asking for your support in order to be able to continue creating these videos on this channel full time. That's been really helpful. So I like to be able to help support Board Game Geek where I can, and this is one of the ways I can do it, because any of the promos or other items you pick up from the Board Game Geek store support that website, which in turn supports me. And they've even gone one step further. Now, when you pick up any items by following the link that I'm gonna put in the description of this video, part of the direct proceeds from those sales will come back to watch it played. So you're supporting Board Game Geek, you're supporting us here, it's a win-win. And you get cool promos, so it's really, it's, it's a win-win-win. So let's dive into some of these promos in this magic promo box, starting with uh, the one that I have inside the box here. This first one, for Concordia. This comes with eight forum cards that can be played with all variants of Concordia, including just the base game, and these provide players with their own unique powers to use during the game. And this promo pack also comes with these privilege cards, which are an expansion for Navigador, but I don't know anything about that game. Looks cool though. Okay, so next we have an expansion in here somewhere. Uh, oh, right in front for Codenames Pitchers. This allows you to play Codenames Pitchers in a 5x5 grid instead of the original 4x5 grid. And it comes with a picture of a perplexed looking dog, so who wouldn't want that? Okay, next in here we have what I believe is a three card pack for Everdell. And this adds, as I understand it, a new solo opponent. Now this is not a game that I've played, but I do know it's popular. And they warn that these are not recommended for beginner players. But I mean, I don't know, how nasty could a rat be? I guess there is one way to find out and that's to pick these up. Now, there are some promos in here for a game that I have played, Terraforming Mars. These actually come as two separate promos and the self-replicating robot lets you put a space or building card here with two resources. Then in future actions, you can double the number of resources there. And then when you want to play the card that you put on top of this, its cost is reduced by the cubes that you built up on it. And this, uh, well, uh, this is a nifty penguin. So there's not really an explanation required. Who wouldn't want a penguin? Now, while we're on the topic of Terraforming Mars, I have another promo in here which isn't going to radically change the way the game is played, but it can make your copy a little extra special. This is a 3D model for you to specifically use as your start player token. And you can see this rover has a lot of detail on it if you're interested in painting your models, but this detail pops out even if you don't. I may or may not be working on a tutorial video for Terraforming Mars, but either way, I do have a promo here for a game that I did do a tutorial for, and that's Kemet. These are actually for the Tassetti expansion, and it includes a new black power tile that awards an additional permanent victory point for controlling two temples in the night phase, and there's also three new skills to add to the Tassetti path. Also said to be in the same family of games as Kemet is Cyclades, or Cyclades, or Cyclades. No one actually knows how to pronounce that game name, but I do have a promo pack for it here. With this, you'll get two ruin tokens that will be placed on two different islands of the board. And then when a player takes control of one of those islands, they'll draw a monument that can be built as normal, but only by them, which will indicate by placing the matching token on top of that monument. Then once it's been built, it must be placed on the island where the matching token was set. Now, if you're looking for a promo that isn't going to add any new rules that you have to learn, but will just add a little bit of visual variety, then I have one here for King Domino. These simply replace the castles that you already have with some that are a little more visually dynamic than the originals. And this is a game that we have a tutorial for if you'd like to check it out. Another game we did a video for is 878 Viking and we have a promo pack here. I always liked the title of this game because people said it sounds like the number you might dial for an infomercial. To get your free cookware, call 878 Vikings. This pack is very simple. It just adds four new events to your game when playing including this scary fella who is either preparing to attack you uh, or just stubbed his toe. Let's keep going here with promos for games that we've featured here on the channel. This one is for Fog of Love. It includes three new scenes that you can add to your game that include a work party, a trip to the county fair, and the classic relationship stumper deciding what you should do for the day. All right, this next one we sort of did a tutorial video for, but not really. We, we covered Tiny Epic Galaxies, the core game, but this is actually a promo pack for the expansion known as Beyond the Black. Here you get six elite pirates and a separate drone mini expansion, 
as well as a sleeve for you to put around both the expansion and core game to keep them together. Now here's a fun one. We have a self-contained pack of cards for the game Millennium Blades. But it's a Board Game Geek specific one that gives you a variety of cards inspired by popular board games. And this one has 27 cards total, which are made up of two separate sets along with some extra cards. Now since we're talking about card games, let's talk about some promos for another very popular card game, Star Realms. This one is some kind of ungodly merger between the Blob and Trade Federation, and so it benefits from both green and blue cards being played. Well, this is an event which, when revealed during the game, is immediately resolved. And this card is actually based on the novel that was written about the game, and a novelization is not something you typically see for most board and card games in our hobby. Now it looks like we have space for one more promo in the box, and this one is for Downforce. This adds a new player power called Civilized, and on your turn, you can choose a car on your speed card owned by another player, and if you do, they move that car before you move the rest of the cars on your card. And I'm realizing now, anyone who enjoys the way I say card in my videos probably quite enjoyed that explanation. And guess what? Downforce is another game that we have a tutorial video for. But, unfortunately, the promo box is empty. I hope you enjoyed going through these with me, and don't forget, if you want to pick up any of those promos or any other items from the Board Game Geek store, you can do so by using the link in the description of this video, and that will not only support Board Game Geek, but also support Watch It Played directly. So please do consider using the link, and until we get this box refilled, thanks for watching.